And he'd go around giving his testimony, but actually he did more preaching than he did testifying. And someone said, now Zeke, if you're going to preach, you need to get ordained. He said, what's that? So, well, we will get some pastors together, and they will ask you some questions, and if they think that God's called you, they'll lay their hands on you, and they'll ordain you. He said, all right, let's do that. So they got these men together. They put old Zeke in a chair and made a little hat and moved around, and they said, now Zeke, we're going to ask you some questions. He said, all right, go ahead. He said, first of all, Zeke, do you believe the Bible? He said, do I believe the Bible? I believe the Bible from lid to lid. I even believe the lid. It says Holy Bible. They said, now Zeke, what's your favorite book of the Bible? He said, now my favorite book of the Bible be the Gospel of Luke because it contained the story of the Good Samaritan. They said, well, Zeke, for your ordination, why don't you just tell us the story of the Good Samaritan? He said, all right, I will. Once upon a time, there was a man that went from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and that man fell among the thorns. And the thorns rolled up and choked that man. <laughs> and along come the angel of the Lord, and he strove with that man and set him free. Then here come the queen of Sheba in her chariot, <laughs> and she gave him 50 wedges of gold and five changes of raiment. He went over into the big city. He bought himself a chariot. He got in that chariot and he drove furiously until his hair got caught in a tree limb. And it left him hanging there many days and many nights. And along come Delilah with her scissors and she cut his hair off. And he fall on the stony ground and bring forth some 30, some 60, and some a hundredfold. He look up into the sky and he see a crowd about the size of a man's hand. It commenced to rain. It rained 40 days and 40 nights. But the Lord doth prepare the fish to swallow him up for the period of the tribulation. And when seven years was over, that fish spit him out on the dry land. He walked down the road. He see this big giant go live. He passed by on the other side. <laughs> and this young man come out and say, I want you to come and have supper with me. He said, I have married a wife and I cannot come. <laughs> But the man compelled him to come and after supper, he said, did not my heart burn with that <laughs> He went into the big city and he looked up on the ledge and he see that wicked woman Jezebel and he hollers out, who is on the Lord's side? And they said, we're on the Lord's side. He said, flank her down. They flank her down. He said, flank her down again. They flank her down again. He said, flank her down 70 times 7. And they flank her down 70 times 7. And of the fragments that remained were 12 baskets of them. Whose wife is she going to be in the day of the judge? I don't know whether they got ordained or not, but I'd like to have been there and just watch that whole thing take place. In Ephesians chapter 3, when I was invited to come, and I heard that your church was celebrating their 40th anniversary, I realized it's not right now, but this is sort of the year of the 40th for you all. The Lord seemed to impress uh, two messages upon my heart. One was the one that I preached last night on Jesus and autopsy. And the other one, with the help of the Lord, I want to try to preach to you this evening. And I want to preach to you on this subject. It will be in the text. Unto Him be glory in the church. Would you look with me in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. And 21. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to all the power, or to the power that worketh in us. Unto him be glory in the church, by Christ Jesus, throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. And the first part of that verse says, unto him be glory in the church. Unto him be glory in the church that I pastor. Unto him be glory in the church that Pastor Vogel pastors. Unto him be glory in the church that all the pastors represented in this room tonight pastor. May it please the great God of heaven that formed all things to stamp his divine approval upon the reading of his forever settled in heaven word of God. Would you pray with me before we pray? Our Father, May we worship thee tonight in spirit and in truth and in the beauty of holiness. We submit ourselves to thee. We pray that you would.